everyone, my name is Celeste, and today's flow is going to be focused on our balance. Now, we will only be balancing on our feet, we're not going to be balancing on our hands for now, but it will definitely challenge your balance systems. All right, so first of all, I would like to talk a little bit about balance in general. So since we are going to be balancing on our feet, you will find moments that everything's going to be a little bit wobbly, your ankles. I do recommend a lot that we work on our feet and our ankles. I have another flow on the channel that you can go check out, some uh, feet and ankle workout, because we do need kind of a bit of strength, right? And we need the pieces to, to be in place in order to be more stable. But not only our muscles and all our body there is in charge of balance, but something even better is your higher order system. So first one, main one, your vision. So your vision is the best helper uh, so as to keep you balanced, to locate, to locate you on space, right? With our eyes, we really we really use our vision for loads of things balance is one of them and then the second um, system that we should really pay attention to when we are talking about balance any kind hand balancing balancing on, on your toes on your toes on your feet any kind of balance really we need to pay attention to our um, vestibular system so the vestibular system is a system that is inside your ears and it has this little uh, hairs and it has a, a, a liquid that every time you move your head wherever it goes the liquid moves as well with with you with your head and all these little hairs they capture where this liquid is and they send the sign to your brain like hey brain our head is still to the side hey brain i'm upside down right so our vestibular system is really, really important when it comes to balance as well. So training our vision and training our vestibular system are an amazing idea in order to improve balance. I, I, would, I invite you to go check the guys from Z Health. They are amazing and they do loads and loads. They have loads and loads of free content on YouTube. I'm going to link, I'm going to add their link on the description box below. So you can go check them out. They have loads and loads of drills and videos and information about vision and the vestibular system if you would like to uh, go any deeper into those two subjects. All right. So as I was saying, these two, these two systems are really, really helpful when it comes to balancing. So today we are going to be doing some... Um, some inner ear, <laughs> some vestibular stimulation. Uh, just again, take this really playfully. Don't, don't take it too seriously. It's not, um, it's just there's nothing wrong if we fall. There's nothing wrong if we wobble. There's nothing wrong if we don't want to do any of the exercises that I'm going to offer you. It's honestly really be um, mindful and be honest with yourself, all right? and just have a lot of fun because really this is what it's all about. Okay, so without talking anymore, what I will invite you today as a warm-up kind of grounding sort of moment, we will be walking, okay? So I understand that maybe some of you don't really have space to walk, that much space to walk, but really the size of your mat is already a lot because I want us to um, just to arrive and check the way we move, right? The way we use our, our balance uh, while we walk. Okay, so if you have props, you want to bring them to you. Now's your chance. Blocks, if you have, they're always a great help. Um, so please have them with you. And yeah, all right, let's get started. So. To begin with, we're going to start to go a little bit in a little bit of a walk. I, I would like you to, to pay attention to 
the way, imagine you were walking in sand, right? Um, a thin layer of sand, not, not, not such a big layer of sand. And as you were walking, you are leaving your footprints. I would like you to picture in your mind, as you walk, the shape of the footprint every time you step. And just notice, is, is really every time, every step the same? Or does it change when I, for example, want to turn? Or when I just give another step, maybe I lose a little bit of balance. Was I stepping maybe too, mu too much towards the edges of the foot? And also start to take your attention to your breath. I would like you to breathe in and out through your nose, throughout the whole class, if possible. And as and while we walk, I'm gonna ask you questions just for you to notice and only notice. There's no judgment, there's no modification, there's no rearrangement, there's no, it's just noticing, all right? And so, what are your eyes now? Where are you looking? Are you looking towards the floor? Are you looking to the to your context, to your surroundings? Are you are you paying too much attention to maybe furniture or limits on the space around you? So what are your eyes? Where do they look? And then what if I tell you to walk towards the back, walk backwards, but I invite you to not, not look where you're, where you're walking, right? So if that means that maybe you have some objects around you, if that means that you have to walk slower, then go for it, walk slower. And then what happens if we walk to the side? Again, remember this idea of what does my footprint look like? What happens if I walk to the other side? right? Kind of like a, a crab sort of walk. And I invite you to, to play with this idea, to walk a little bit towards the front, walk towards the back, but I mean backwards, to the sides. You can do some turns. And in the meantime, um, how is the pattern of the lines you are doing while you walk. Are you walking in circles? Are you walking back and forth, back and forth? Are you, are you going more on like a curvy sort of path or do you just walk in straight lines and you stop in the corners? If you, we would be following these footprints uh, would they be going in straight lines, in curves? Would they be all over the place? And what happens if I walk with my feet separate, with the stance wider? What happens if I walk like that towards the back? What are the things that my body have to do? Do I have to bend the knees extra? Do you feel safer? Do you feel that this is more, more of a wider base, gives you more stability? more grounding. Amazing, and what happens if we walk with our feet, with our stance really, really thin, right? Kind of as if we were modeling. Do you feel like your balance is a little bit more challenged? What if you go backwards? Do the footprints modify? Do they feel more dense and pronounced? when we are just walking normally towards the front? Do they feel a little bit less uh, pronounced and less printed if we walk with our feet very close to each other, kind of stepping one foot in front of the other? All right. All right. And we find the mat, standing a comfortable 
position. Let's place one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. And just let's do a few breaths. You can keep your eyes um, open or you can close your eyes as you wish. And let's just do a few mindful breaths and very, very deep. So let's inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Well done. If your eyes were closed, we open them. All right. And from here, I will let you choose your stance, okay? If you want to have your feet wider than, wider than hip width, go for it. If you want to have them hip width, go for it as well. I, I recommend hip width as the shortest one uh, because we are going to be transferring our weight. So yeah, this is what we will do now. We will just transfer the weight one foot to the other one, just to the sides first. Imagine you're still on this sandy floor. The floor is warm and you can see, you can perceive your foot, each of them, every time you put weight on it, you can, you can feel it grounding even deeper into the sand, into the earth. Nice, we stop at the center and now we, do the, we repeat, but towards the front. So we take the weight to the toes and we take the weight to the heels. Just be mindful of not falling, all right? This is already challenging the, the balance system, right? Because you are putting it on the edge, so it has to activate a lot of things to keep you safe and here with us. But too much. Well then, and now let's go in circles. So we take it to the sides, to the front, to the side. And back, remember to keep breathing. This is a soft movement, it's not restrained, right? And to the other side. Nice, well done. All right, so now the first exercise, the first balance challenge that we're gonna do is, involves, I'm sorry, involves your eyes and your vestibular system. So, the idea goes like this. If you have never done any, any sort of movements with your eyes closed, then I invite you to start with a wide stance, not super wide, right, but comfortably wide. <clears throat> and then I invite you to move the following step to a closer one. If you feel like, nah, Sele, you know what? I really like balancing, been doing that, this for ages then I invite you to start in a shorter stance and maybe then change to one leg and to other leg. For, for me, I am going to choose a normal stance and then I'm going to put my feet together. Um, so yeah, you can choose the one that you feel more comfortable with. And first I would like to show you what we're going to do because then you're going to have your eyes closed so you won't be able to see me. And the idea is that we're going to close the eyes. So. The brain is already, oh, whoa, what's going, what's going on here? I, I don't have this tool anymore. So we don't, we're going to close the eyes. And what we're going to do is we're going to do quick movements, turning the head. We're going to wait for five or six seconds or so. We're going to go back to center, center, quick to the other side, wait a little bit, come back to center, head up, wait a little bit, come back to center, head down, wait a little bit, come back to center, tilt to the right and tilt to the left, OK? So, since you're gonna have your eyes closed, I'm gonna snap my fingers, and when, when you hear this, the idea is that the movement is kind of like rapid, right? It's like, ka, to the side, ka, to the side. It's not, we take the head, and then we bring it back. No, to the side, and then we bring it back slowly. To the other side, and then we bring it back, back slowly. Now, if you feel like, if you try and you feel like, whoa, this is not, this is too much, then of course you can just like go slow, wait, come back, go slow. Throughout the whole time, we're not going to open our eyes. That's the idea. But again, 
I don't want you to feel scared and I would like your brain to understand that this is a safe situation, not a, a threatening one. So if at some point you feel too much uh, discomfort, you feel like, no, really, I really am not feeling good with this, then just open your eyes and we can do the same with the eyes open. Still, your head is moving, so your inner ear is still working anyway. So, you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna start with hip width, a bit wider. All right, so let's close the eyes. Let's give a big release in breath. So inhale through the nose. Exhale, side it out. Nice. Stand nice and tall. And we're gonna, first we're gonna start with turning the head, right? To turn the head to the right. One, two, three, four, Five, take it back to center, to the left. One, two, three, four, five, back to center. Up. One, two, three, four, five, back to center. Down. One, two, three, four, five, back to center. And now we're gonna take the ear to the shoulder. So we start with the right. Tilt the head, two, three, four, five, up, to the left, one, two, three, four, five, up. Open your eyes. Well done, excellent. Now, let's modify the stance. So if you were like me, maybe we can try with uh, feet together. If you were already with your feet together, we can start with um, balancing on one foot. If you're gonna do the one foot, of course, I am gonna do with uh, my feet together, so I'm just gonna do this one time. If you want to do with both your feet, then you can just add the extra movement. All right, so choose your stance and let's get to it. Close your eyes, nice and tall. And let's start with turning to the right. So turn to the right. Two, three, four, five. Keep breathing. Back to center. To the left. Two, three, four, five. Back to center. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Back to center. Down. Two, three, four, five five back to center and every time we do this just check what is the rest of your body doing right is it kind of wobbling a little bit is it still and and grounded now let's tilt ear to shoulder to the right one two three four come back to center and to the left one two three four five come back to center open the eyes nice well done Okay, great. Now we're gonna stand near the top of the mat. Hip, feet hip width. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, up to the sky. Try to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge of the hips, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest, create some space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Place the hands on the mat and step it back to a high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, drop the knees, then the elbows, and we drop it all the way down to the mat. Hands under your shoulders, untuck your toes, press the floor with the top of your feet, so you will feel your knees are gonna uh, lift off the floor slightly. Inhale, and we grow to the front and to the up. Exhale down, one more time. We inhale to cobra, engage the glutes, and exhale down, tuck under your toes. Take it back to a child's pose, and fly it back to a downward facing dog. Let's wiggle a little bit the down dog here. Nice. From here, we're gonna bend the knees, drop them to the mat, and go to a tabletop. All right. So let's first just and look at the position, uh, wrists under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. 
and we're gonna just transfer weight. The same that we did with our feet, but we're gonna do it with our hands right now, just to the sides, only to warm up a bit the, the wrists. We're really not gonna be using them that much, but it's always a good idea to warm them up. All right, we come to center. And now, I invite you to tilt your pelvis. So I don't want to cut and cow. I just want the movement from the pelvis. So anterior tilt, posterior tilt, lateral tilt to the side, okay? So we're going to do is we're going to just explore anterior and posterior tilts. Again, the movement comes from the hips. Well done. Maybe you can try different intensity, maybe further up. Nice, and now we're gonna tilt the hip to the sides. Great, and now we're gonna match all those points together. So anterior tilt, so we drop it, we drop the belly, take it to the side, posterior tilt, we take we take the tailbone in to the side. Yes, so we make this kind of sexy, <laughs> sexy hip uh, circles. And then to the other side. Nice. Now you might have done this already before in your life. So let's challenge a little bit your brain. And what we're gonna try to do now is figure eight. So let's say you had to paint at the back, an infinite, like this, with your hips. So you drop it to the side. Yes, so we make this figure eight. Now, remember that it doesn't matter if they, <laughs> they are nothing even close to a figure eight. That is great. Just the idea of trying, you know, create a lot of new information to the other side. A little bit more tricky <laughs> to this side. Nice, well done. Now we let the hips where they are. And let's just drop the chest, the shoulder blades meet at the spine, and exhale, we round the upper body. Let's not really use the lower body, just the lower portion of the spine. Let's just use the thoracic. Inhale, we drop the chest, the shoulder blades meet at the spine and exhale, imagine you had something heavy between your shoulder blades and you had to push it all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, come back to center. And now we will try it with our chest to do with the upper spine, the thoracic spine, to do this figure eight as well. Same as we did with the hips. Drop it to the side, back, center and down, to the side, up, center and down and change directions nice all right now let's do just a, a few rounds of classic good old cat and cow inhale drop the belly lift the head exhale round the spine drop the tailbone inhale up chest shines forward exhale round the spine and let's just wiggle a little bit the spine around in circles you can transfer the weight just whatever you need only to wake up the body <laughs> even though we have already woken it up awaken it i really don't know how to say that <laughs> all right great once we're here tuck under your toes back to a downward facing dog just to uh, release some stress from your knees. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Take a look towards the front of the mat and step your feet forward. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Spine is nice and long. Exhale, fold down over both legs. Inhale again, lift the chest. Open your arms to the sides. Fly your wings, your glutes are engaged. Try not to collapse on the spine. And we're just gonna close the arm, give a big hug, open the arms, 
Wide, spread the wings, big hug, and drop it down, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold down. And we take it back to a plank. Inhale here, and exhale, we wave it to a downward facing dog. Remember on the down dog to push the floor away. You can, as always, bend your knees as much as you need. If your heels don't touch the floor, do not worry, it's all right. Inhale here, exhale, drop the knees to a tabletop one more time. All right, from here we're gonna take the weight towards the right side body. So let's first take the left leg out long and the left arm, so yes, it's a bit strange maybe, and it's gonna be wobbly, but imagine you had a magnet on the tip of your fingers and on the tip of your toes, and there is someone in front of you with another magnet, magnet and there's someone at the back with another magnet, and they're pulling these two mag magnets, opposite forces. Inhale and exhale. We bring the knee to meet the elbow at the center of the body. Inhale, take it out. Exhale, bend knee to elbow. Inhale out. And exhale, we bring the left foot to step next to your hand. All right. Um, if, may, if you think that your knees hurt a bit, it's always good to have a blanket. If you have a blanket or something that you can pad under your knee, because we're going to be laying your, our weight uh, here. so. If you have achy knees, then of course, just pat it under. Maybe you can even fold your yoga mat as you wish. Okay. Now, again, let's go with some balance challenge. Okay, so the idea on this one is we're gonna um, keep our weight on the supporting leg and we're gonna lift the left leg and try stretch, stretch it out. Woo! And try to make a big, big, big circle back ah. and big <laughs> we bring it back and we relax we're gonna do it twice all right so you ready <laughs> the back leg is gonna be doing lots and lots of works and it's gonna be having to work really hard your glutes your hamstrings everything is gonna be really active in order to keep you balanced here again please remember if you fall if you wobble all good all accepted all part of the play all right, so, ready? You can use your arms, of course, to give you. And just a good idea is to keep a focus point, right? Your drishti. So choose something, a spot on the wall, a little dirt or <laughs> something that you have in front of you that you can just keep your, your uh, vision at. And let's go. Take it back. <laughs> I absolutely love doing We take it round to the front. Yay! And relax. Well done. Probably your, um, your quads of your right leg are a little bit on fire at the moment. All right, one more time. Let's go. You've got this. Come on. We <laughs> take the uh, left leg out long and we circle it back. All the way to the front. <laughs> And we circle it back to the front. And oh, relax. <laughs> well done. Well done. Give a little tapping to those squats. Oh, then legs. Yes. Very well done. Let's just do actually a little bit of a rubbing here <laughs> on the left leg. Let's give it some love. Uncle. Oh. All right, nice, well done. From here, you're gonna tuck under your left toes and we're gonna push it up to stand on your left leg, knee to chest. If it doesn't really reach the, the torso, whatever you can get your knee up to and we are gonna grab the right leg and let's make circles with your right ankle. 
Circle spin your right ankle. There you are. My, ba my balance is not really with me today. There you go. I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there you are. Nope. All right, well done. Release the leg, and we're gonna take the leg back. Big, 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 big step back to a high lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, fall forward, frame the foot, and we take it back. So downward facing dog. Woo. Little happy dance in your down dog. <laughs> Great inhale here. Drop the knees, and we're gonna try to the other side. So we're gonna transfer the weight to the left side. Take the right leg out long and the right arm out long. Inhale here. Remember to use these opposite forces, right? The two people with their magnets <laughs> trying to um, attract your toes and your fingers. Inhale, exhale. We take elbow and knee, meet at the center of the body. Inhale out long. Exhale, knee elbow inhale out long and exhale we place the left the right foot sorry next to the arm we come for a little low lunge again if you fancy folding your mat or um, pad your knee good to go okay you know the drill now so let's go for it okay so lift the leg remember to find your drishti your Focus point, take it back. Nice, if you fall, just don't worry, come back to it. Yay. Let's try to make it as controlled Woo. and as smooth as possible. And I am not gonna get tired of repeating this. We are gonna wobble, we are gonna fall. It's all good, okay? One more, take the leg out long. Trishti, don't forget it. Keep breathing. <laughs> Take the leg out. Sorry if I laugh a lot, but this really makes me happy. Woo! <laughs> and to the front. Well done. Again, some tapping, tapping. Thank you, quads. Thank you, brain. Tuck under the back toes. And we find momentum. And we stand on the right leg. Get hold of your left knee and let's do some ankle circles. If this is, if here is not available to you, you can always do them down in any level. You can hold it, your leg from the back as you wish. To the other side. Again, keep your drishti. It's always very helpful to keep your eyes on a point when, you, when it comes to balancing. All right, let loose your leg. Inhale here and exhale, we drop the chest, take the leg back, big, big, big step back, back to a high lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold down. Frame the foot, step it back to a high plank. Inhale here, exhale, vinyasa. Either chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra, exhale, hips up to her downward facing dog. Absolutely amazing, you are doing great. All right, inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, bend the knees, look towards the front of the mat and step it to the front. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Take the shoulder blades to meet each other at the center of the spine. Remember, uh, try to Touch with the top of your head, the wall in front of you. Inhale here and exhale, fall down over both legs. Inhale, we engage the glutes and we're gonna let your arms he heavy. And let's roll the spine, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up to standing. Head and neck come lost. Whew. Great. Now, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, drop them down. Inhale up. Exhale, hands through heart center. 
And now inhale, bend the knees, hinge of the hips, Uttatasana. For one or two breaths. Think of the spine nice and long, try not to collapse on the chest. The weight is well distributed, it's neither too much to the front nor too much to the back. Inhale here, exhale, fall down. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, place the hands on the mat and step it back to a plank. Inhale here and exhale, we wave it back to a downward facing dog. Same thing. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, square the hips. Inhale here. Exhale, we step it, the right foot between the hands. Inhale, we move your arms to a warrior two. Right, so back foot, honestly, my balance, not that great today. The back foot is 45 degrees angle, front foot, the toes are facing the wall in front of you. Knee stuck over the ankle, I would say, where it feels comfort, comfortable, really try not to maybe pay more attention to not flare it to the inside or the outside. Uh, and again, choose your stance. If this is too wide, you can get it shorter. If you feel like this is too unstable, you can get it wider this way. Um, you choose, all right? It's your body, it's your warrior. <laughs> okay, spread the arms long, drop the shoulders, relax, and we look towards the right arm, <laughs> the right fingertips, and we will again do some balance here. So what we will do is we're gonna go to the toes, we're gonna stand on our toes with the front leg and on our heel with the back leg. So again, we have to work. <laughs> And this is great, again, doesn't matter if you wobble, just be playful, relax, well done. Straighten both legs, lift the arms up. Big inhale and exhale. We'll go back to warrior two. And we're gonna do the opposite now. We stand on the heel of the front foot and on the toes of the back foot. Yay. Which one feels easier? And we drop it down, well done. From here, we sweep the left arm up to a high lunge. Inhale here and exhale. Find the momentum and bring yourself to stand on the right leg. Well done. Now from here, we're gonna do the following. We will kick out, open the knee to the side. Kick out, open the knee to the side. You can have your hands whatever you like them, maybe heart center is a good idea. Kick out, open to the side. One more, kick out, open to the side. Well done, now we drop the torso, take the left leg out, 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 long. And we go to a high lunge, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, drop the left arm next to the right foot. And we inhale and sweep the right arm up. The leg that is long out, it's pushing through the heel, as if with the heel you were trying to touch the wall behind you. Inhale here, exhale, frame the right foot and step it back to a downward facing dog, well done. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, Square the hips, inhale here, and exhale, step the left foot between the hands, and we lift it up to a warrior two. Again, check that your stance is comfortable. Um, you don't need to really be super, both legs externally rotated, chest, it can be a little bit diagonal, really find, find a comfortable Stance, all right, find a comfortable position that you feel like you're gonna be able to hold it better and that it suits your body more. Okay, from here, arms long to the sides. We look towards the left arm. Again, find the drishti and we start with the front leg, with the leg that is bent. We go to the toes and with the back length to the heel. 
Ooh. Well done and breathe. Remember to keep looking to the drishti. Nice and release. Inhale, straighten the arms. Take the, straighten the legs as well, sorry, and the arms up. Take a look at the ceiling for a little bit. Inhale, exhale, come back to a warrior two. And now we change. So the front leg goes onto the heel and the back leg goes onto the toes. Ooh. Nice, remember to be playful. There's no right or wrong here, it's just absolute juice for your brain. Great, place both feet down. Inhale, up, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Exhale, back to warrior two. We sweep the right arm and we go to a high lunge. Inhale here and find the momentum, exhale. Bring the right knee to the chest. And let's do our kick and open, all right? So we kick, open the knee, and kick, open the knee, kick, <laughs> open the knee one more time, kick, and open the knee. Well done, big, 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 big. Step back, inhale, sweep the arms up for a high lunge. Exhale, place the right hand next to the left foot. Inhale and sweep the left arm all the way up. Try to touch the ceiling with your fingertips and push the floor away with your right arm. Then lovely easy twist. Inhale here. And exhale. Drop the hand to frame the left foot. Step it back to a plank. Inhale and vinyasa, either chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhale it, upward, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog, nice. Let's drop it to the knees, sit back on the heels. Let's just take a moment, place your hands on your lap. It's great to kind of reset and just, you know, chill in between all the movement and check in with your body, the energy that is moving around. You can close your eyes for a breath or two. Use this time to take big and deep breaths through your nose. Feel your lungs, your chest, your abdomen expanding, the back of your torso. And when you exhale, everything relaxes. It actually contracts as well, but everything goes down. You can put one hand on the chest and the other one on the belly. And let's take two breaths. Inhale. Inhale. Well done. Open the eyes. Place your hands towards the front of the mat. And push your hips all the way up for a downward facing dog. Let's wiggle it, let's jump it a bit. Come bounce the hips, bounce those feet. All right, inhale, heels up. Exhale, deep bend on the knees, step it or jump to the front. Inhale, lift the chest, create some space. Exhale, fall down over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands through, heart center. All right, so inhale, sweep, arms up. Exhale, fold down over both legs. If you have your blocks near you, put them at the front of the mat, maybe on, the, on their highest um, level. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold down over both legs. And we step it back to a plank. Inhale here, exhale, wave, wave it back to a downward facing dog. Nice, and we're gonna inhale, sweep the right leg up, square the hips. Exhale, place the right foot between the hands and grab yourself from the blocks. And from here, we're gonna push to a warrior three. All right, use your blocks as your support, all right, if you need them. The idea here is to open 
the hip, so we externally rotate the left leg. And we try to hover the hands and drop the torso a bit more and lift the back leg a little bit more. You can also bend your right leg. All right, keep breathing. Keep the spine nice and long and feel these two opposite forces, right? From the head and through your toes, the leg that is, whoo, the leg that is flying. Take the arms up like a little plane warrior. And inhale, bring the knee to the chest. Take the right, sorry, the left heel on the right knee. Inhale here, and then we exhale, bend the knee and hinge of the hips for a little uh, figure four. Nice, as deep as you can. If you can, if it's available to you, inhale, lift the chest, create space and exhale, and we fold. You can use the blocks or the floor to support you. Inhale, lift the chest and lift it all the way back to standing, knee to chest, and exhale, big, big, big step back. So a high plan, high lunge, sorry, frame the right foot and step it back to a plank, wave it back to a downward facing dog. Amazing. Now let's inhale, sweep the left leg up, square the hips, exhale, place, Step the foot between the hands. Grab yourself from the blocks. Inhale here and exhale. We go up to a warrior three. And now we externally rotate this right leg. We try to hover. We can bend, of course, the left, the supporting knee. And we try to hover the hands. If hovering is enough here, all good. If you would like to, you can take the chest down a little bit further and fly the wings and remember to get some sort of drishti in the floor on the floor say like a little dirt or something a little mark on the floor well done and we inhale we lift the torso bring the knee to the chest and exhale big 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 step back frame the left foot and step it back to a down dog inhale lift the left leg step it between the hands with the with the little momentum we go up because i forgot but let's do it <laughs> we cross the the leg so the right ankle goes over the left knee and we open the right knee to the back hinge of the hips Bend the knees and fold forward. The right foot is flexed, so it's engaged. We can grab the blocks here. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, we fold. Notice where there's sensation. Remember, we don't want any sort of pain or discomfort. All right, we lift it up, knee to chest. Big step back, and now we're on it. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, frame the foot, step it back to a plank. Inhale here, strong through that plank. Imagine the, a big, heavy cut between your shoulder blades. Exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done, drop your knees and find the way to sitting, all right? Good. You are doing amazing. And now we have time to chill out. So let's go for a seated forward fold. Flex the feet. Bend the knees uh, slightly if you want. Inhale long, the spine is long. We inhale, sweep the arms up and exhale. Imagine you had a ball between your hands and with the ball you were trying to touch the floor in front of you. Once you reach, inhale, wave it up. Exhale, fold over both legs. 
Remember to keep the spine nice and long. You can start to elongate the breaths. Well done. Inhale, back to center. Now we're gonna do half saddle. So bring your, let's start with the left leg. Bend it and we're gonna place the top of the foot next to the thigh, not super wide, neither underneath the, the, the thigh, just like a few inches open to the side. All right, the right leg is active, foot is flexed, and let's just walk our hands. Give me a moment. If this is already a lot on your thigh, great, just stay there. If you think you can go a little bit deeper, you can walk your hands back. If you think you want even deeper, you can just lay your back down. I am gonna stand on my elbows. Remember to keep the right leg active, foot flex. Breathe and take the air towards the area of the body that we're stretching, where you feel any sensation. We go up, we walk all the way up. And let's try without any help to take this left leg to, sorry, to stand next to the right knee, in the inside of the right knee. So the sole of the foot is fully on the mat. The right leg is still super active. And we're gonna inhale, sweep the left arm all the way back, kind of in a diagonal. Lengthen the spine, inhale up, 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 and then we hug the left knee and we twist to the back. Remember to keep the right foot flex, leg is active. Every time we inhale, we create space, and every time we exhale, we allow the spine to twist. And from here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do some head circles, but I invite you to really follow with your eyes all the way of the circle, a big, big circle. One more, just look. Pay attention to where, what the eyes trace. And then to the other side. Also pay attention if there's some parts that your eyes kind of like skip, right? One more circle. Amazing, well done, inhale here. And exhale, come back to center. We cross this left leg, so knee is gonna be over the other knee. Flex is, uh, fo foot is still flexed, both of them. And we're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale, half shoelace. So remember to, it's very important to keep this foot flex. If this is too much for your hamstrings or your calves, ease it back. As you find the height and the tension that you need or that you fancy. Remember to breathe in and out through your nose. Long inhales and longer exhales. Inhale back to center. Let's find a little bit of momentum and go to a Navasana. Nice, well done. If this is too much, you can have your, your feet on the floor. You can grab yourself, you can grab it from behind uh, the knees. Or you can be here with me for just an inhale or two. Spine nice and long. We look diagonally up. Inhale here and exhale. We change the legs, so we let the left leg out long and we're gonna fold our right leg or half saddle just wiggle yourself find the way find where the body is more comfortable and let's take it back inhales and exhales remember to take the air use the beautiful air to go to where the parts you feel sensation the most. 
one more breath and we walk it back let's try to not use the hands and bring the right foot to stand next to the left knee sweep the right arm back inhale lengthen the spine and exhale we hug the right knee and we twist towards the back every time we inhale remember we lengthen the spine we create space for the spine to twist on the exhale and let's do some circles remember to really trace with your eyes all the way the circle even the floor one more time this way don't lose the activation of your legs of your spine inhale and we take it to the other side do we trace the whole way are we jumping are, we, are our eyes jumping from say the ceiling to the floor and then to the wall or can we really appreciate every part of the way nice inhale here exhale back to center without any help if you can if not of course you can just help let's do half shoelace cross the right leg over the left one knees are stuck on top of each other inhale lengthen the spine and exhale fold keep the foot flex so we give a little bit of work to our calf muscles inhale and exhale go slow go easy nice we lift it up and find a little bit of momentum and we go to navasana four to breath place the feet on the floor on the mat maybe bring yourself a little bit further forward step both feet at the front of the mat lengthen the arms and we roll the spine vertebra per vertebra all the way down to the floor oh, nice you can window wipe those legs and it's a shavasana time so you can lengthen your legs arms next to the body you may close your eyes if you'd like to if not you can keep them open or just soften your gaze And let's take these last few moments to really appreciate all the all the hard work that our bodies have just gone through just to appreciate the fact that we showed up no matter what we did no matter how much we did no matter how how intense or not intense really the fact that we just showed up it's enough and also appreciate really all the effort that your body has just gone through to keep you there to keep you safe to keep you playful to keep you focused you can place one hand on your belly one hand on your heart space and really elongate and big 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 breaths through the nose and inhale feel your rib cage your chest your abdomen expand and when we exhale we release and remember at the beginning of the class this idea of the footprint on the sand imagine now you would be laying on the sand and every time you inhale the footprint of your body of your whole body on the sand gets printed even deeper and it allows for space to relax and to melt I invite you to scan your body to see what it feels like where can you perceive energy flowing 
and you perceive any energy flowing at all. And keep breathing bigger and deeper. Feel the weight of your body against the floor. Feel the ground that supported you. This ground that supports the balance. very gently we come back to our physical body we start wiggling the toes the fingers maybe circling the ankles and the wrists we can do a big 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 stretch as if we were yawning maybe if we find the yawn and in your own time we roll to the side and we pause I invite you, if you would like to stay in your Shavasana for longer, please feel free to. If not and you're ready, let's sit back, find a comfortable seat. Place both our hands over our chest. And let's finish this class with a big releasing breath all together. Inhale. And exhale, let it out. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you for everyone for taking the time to take the class, for showing up. I would also like to take a moment to appreciate all of the people that have studied yoga for ages and they have given us the opportunity to learn from this wonderful um, lifestyle that is yoga so uh, a big appreciation for them as well and also um, I would like you if you fancy if you feel like to get a little walk around and see how you feel walking compared to what you felt at the beginning of the class when we did that uh, little walk so yes i invite you to do that as well drink loads of water hydrate and yes i hope to see you on the mat again soon bye